a bit of background information. It was more than three years ago since Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 literally vanished into thin air. But as we write this show, there are reports today featuring new theories of what might have actually happened, telling us the real story will soon be unearthed. Others think that this is wishful thinking. On March 8, 2014, Flight 370 was on its way to Beijing International Airport from Kuala Lumpur. The last we ever heard from the plane was less than 30 minutes after takeoff when it was over the South China Sea. It disappeared from air traffic control radar but still remained visible on Malaysian military radar for a time. They then lost it presumably somewhere over the Andaman Sea. 12 crew members and 227 passengers from 15 countries were gone, as was the plane. It has been presumed the aircraft fell somewhere over the southern Indian Ocean, and parts of the plane were said to have been found on the island of Reunion, near Madagascar, but the disappearance is far from being solved. The theories are wide-ranging as to what happened, with one latest theory being that the plane was carrying a cargo that someone didn't want to reach China. The theorist says that the plane was cyber hijacked and could have been flown as far as the Antarctic, the perfect hiding spot. What other theories are out there? First of all, some theories are seen as credible and have been investigated, while others are seen as more outlandish conspiracy theories, such as aliens took the plane right out of the sky, and right now 239 people are under observation somewhere in outer space. For starters, say some people, if that plane really did hit the ocean, it would have broken into many pieces, and many of those pieces, such as seat cushions, would have been floating around and could have easily been found. So why didn't these pieces get discovered? They searched high and low, scouring 46,300 square miles of ocean where the plane could or should have crashed, and then in January 2017, the search was suspended. One theorist speaking to The Guardian said indeed the plane could have gone a long way before it eventually crashed. He believed that in the case of an electrical fire, the plane could have lost contact and that the crew could have been incapacitated by the fire and smoke. With them all out for the count, the plane could have drifted on autopilot for at least six hours, which means it could have traveled a great distance. Other experts have said this is highly unlikely as the plane's autopilot would have malfunctioned. Another thing that doesn't give that theory credence is that it was said that the plane's communication systems had been deliberately turned off. This tells us someone could have sabotaged the journey. Was that the pilot and co-pilot themselves, or was it a hijacker or hijackers? The pilots were not under any suspicion of being involved in terrorist activities, so experts say that was unlikely. A New York Times report stated that the plane ascended 45,000 feet and then suddenly plummeted. This could have been because a struggle took place in the cockpit, a kind of scene from a Hollywood movie. The report also said that the reason the plane climbed so high could have been to deprive the passengers of oxygen and so rendering them unconscious. In the case of hijackers, it was found that two Chinese men on the plane were traveling with stolen passports, but it was also said they were seeking asylum in Europe and had no connection to terrorism. To fly the plane and cut off communication also takes quite a bit of know-how. Back to the more recent theory that the plane was hacked. But this is also no easy feat. A recent investigation in theory says that the plane had one extra passenger on board. This passenger, according to the man that was interviewed by the Huffington Post, likely acted in conjunction with larger external operational support and control of the cockpit of MH370. Another theory featuring hacking is that somehow the hijackers managed to spoof the pings the plane sent regarding its position, and this is why all the searching came to no success. Did the USA take the plane? There were some sightings of the aircraft near the Maldives, not far from the US base of Diego Garcia, where some missing pieces were found on reunion. Several residents of the Maldives reported a huge low-flying jet making a very loud noise, something they'd never seen before. The theories are that the plane was shot down by the US, or even landed. And if it didn't land or get shot down, why did this large US base not see the plane via radar when people on the ground could with their eyes? A French former airline director told the media the US did see the plane and feared a September 11 style attack and so shot it down. He said it is just not possible in this day and age to lose a plane like that, and so it is feasible that the US covered up their execution. This is why the mystery hasn't been solved, not because it went missing, but because it was purposefully hidden from sight. Only a part of it managed to float to reunion, a consequence of an almost impossible crime scene cleanup. By the way, many theorists and even relatives of passengers on the plane don't believe the parts found there were real. As for outlandish theories, one came from Australia's former Prime Minister Tony Abbott. He said the pilot had the intention of creating the world's greatest mystery. He told the press, I have always said the most plausible scenario was murder-suicide. He could have somehow taken full control over the flight direction and flown to a place where he expected authorities would never find the plane. 
Did North Korea do it? Some people think so. The North Koreans in December were blamed for the massive WannaCry cyber attack, so does that mean they have hackers as good as they come? Did they just shoot it down? None of those theories have really gotten off the ground, excuse the pun. And if that doesn't sound credible, what about the possibility of a meteorite hitting the plane, or it being swallowed by a black hole? Did aliens take it? Perhaps the same ones flying the 40-foot tic-tac we are now seeing on every news media website? In all likelihood, someone on planet Earth right now probably knows what happened to flight MH370, but it's also likely we'll never know the truth.